one of the great ways to understand the power of music is to change it or eliminate it in any given sequence or eliminate the sound overall and watch video without sound. And in fact, often your capacity to interpret what you're seeing is limited and sometimes confusing. It's because music speaks on a deeper archetypal level. And that can be whether it's Shakespeare, whose plays were full of music, or a video game. The Technology and Applied Composition program is really about preparing young composers to work in the modern world. The conservatory wants to provide both a rigorous training in traditional composition as well as the tools that they need to succeed in the market today, which involve a lot of technology. The young composer of today has to be somebody who can score for film, score for video games, score for media, uh, be able to knock off a string quartet and turn right around and go off and do a jingle for a commercial. We out here do a lot of this recording. You know, we spend time up at Skywalker Studios and Skywalker Ranch recording music for video games, recording music for movies. And I think it's an exciting opportunity for these students to hear their music played by such a high level of, of student. I think to do anything you need to know the history where it comes from. Knowing how to just write for a piano, how to write for a string quartet, how to write for a brass section, then you can use some of those colors or some of those harmonic ideas and implement them into something using a melding of real instruments and synthesized instruments. They're going to start with a foot in the past like that and learning the grand tradition of Western music education. As they move on, though, they begin working more and more with this new equipment that we're putting in and techniques of using it. The new studios we're building in the conservatory are quite special. The students are going to have access to the best equipment in recording studios. We're seeing game engines and audio middleware being used for other applications besides just games. So it's kind of important to learn that software and learn how, how these things talk to each other uh, and how you can write music that complements that technology. We're in the infancy of seeing what this medium can do. Nothing is better than being in the Bay Area when it comes to innovation, when it comes to technology. You can throw a rock and hit about five different game studios from here and I can go over there and throw a rock and hit five other ones. So we're getting lots of different guest uh, lectures coming in. It's game composers, sound designers who are regularly having their names in the credits of pretty much any blockbuster film you might go see today. They're excited to work with students at this caliber and open them up to the possibilities that exist in these industries for them. We have always been inspired by technology as composers. These new tools that we have, if it's a new sample library or a new controller, provide us with inspiration that pushes our music forward. Our task in this culture now is to always make sure that the person is at cause with the tool they're using and not at the effect of it. We'd like to start that journey forward, really understanding how is a piece of music constructed and how does this device help me move it into a new direction? Music is an ever-expanding art form, and the point is that as these tools emerge and are created right here in San Francisco, that the artists who come to use them have the benefit of world-class training at the highest level.